Welcome back. In this, in this segment, we're going to talk about past, its image, and the future. So, you know, politics is a game of perception. Mm -hmm. So how far has past gone in uh, ridding itself of its image of a conservative Islamist party? Well, we don't have to be very conscious about our image. You know, for as long as you are able to identify uh, and embody the true precepts and teaching of Islam, I think you are, you are there. Mm -hmm. It's not so much of a physical you know, presentation of someone, whether they are Islamically trained or ulama or non-ulama. Mm -hmm. I, do, I don't think it's, it's, it's to do with even dressing or, or turban or, you know, those, you know, whatever, juba and... and it's not that. It's, I think the, the important thing is for us, past, to be consistent in, in presenting an image that is very principle-centered, yeah, able to withstand challenges of a very uh, divisive, given, given the mixed demography, issues are always double-edged. You know? So uh, it is that consistent consistency mm -hmm. that is really the, 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 the yardstick mm -hmm. And that defining, you know, uh, 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 criteria of of or whether people would be able to trust you. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's about getting the trust of a mixed demo a mixed demography and a mixed uh, a mixed constituency. It's about it's about building building trust and maintaining it. And 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 how we're going to do that is actually being consistent, reliable, mm -hmm. and uh, not flip flop and zigzagging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But do you think the problem with Malaysia is the, the concept of Malay Islam and Islam Islam itself? I see that as a challenge, mm -hmm. yeah. Until and unless we get to really enlighten our own Malay Muslim constituencies, which is easier said than done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's all the better if they have access mm -hmm. to information. But look at, look at the rural you know, setting where they only rely on the mainstream media. So, of course, it will be, you know, it will be mm -hmm. very difficult. Not impossible, but very difficult to get it across. I, I, in my constituency of College Lango, I feel that uh, the way to get that across is not so much of giving lectures and, you know, it's not so much of very knowledge-based uh, uh, kind of thing. It's, 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 it's to present yourself as, as, as an MP or, you know, or, um, that you embody what you, what you preach. Yeah. But how far do you think has the party gone for in um, nurturing second-line forward-thinking leaders? I could see that we have quite a pool. Because uh, when you look at the youth, past youth leader, about the Valentine's Day issue... Um, that has always been a perception problem about him. But then I think you got to see him in the total engagement as a youth leader. Mm -hmm. Well, that may be... I don't have much to defer by way of, you know, but then if you take him um, positively and constructively on a bigger engagement uh, range of uh, domain of activities and activism, you find him quite okay. I mean, uh, you know, he, he, he is able to see himself uh, and challenge himself to be within the that generation or, or you know that gen x yeah. and gen y whatever but but that 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 is now becoming a lot better than before i mean mm. uh, the, the, he is is now being able he's now able to identify and you know uh, place himself position himself in in that in that uh, very challenging uh, uh, useful kind of uh, uh, demands of, of this generation. Mm. I think he's, he's getting it. He's getting into it. Mm. I mean, how does it reflect on the other young leaders in the party? Well, I don't quite fear um, differences. Mm. Uh, I think it's only adding to its dynamic and it, 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 it creates the dynamism. It's okay. I mean, um, not everyone has to be, you know, a photocopy of one another. Mm -hmm. So I think with that, uh, with that kind of ingredient around, it's going to be positive. You have uh, Nasharuddin Tantawi, but then you have also others. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, so taken as a whole, uh, they represent quite a useful uh, energy for us. And, yep. and I think the, the future holds good for us. And how do you see the party post uh, Tongrune as this? I mean, do you think the leaders will have the political discipline to maintain the middle ground? I do. Sincerely, I do. And for as long as you, you see that in the Muqtamar, you know? Mm -hmm. The Muqtamar, the way they have voted us in, mm -hmm. 
despite you know you know the, despite the word being passed around that you know this time round the, the ulama will dominate and predominate uh, look at look at look at the lineup yeah. for you know the top post the the, the 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 deputy president the vice president and majority that make up for the for the central working committee the ajk pas pusat i mean they they're not really you know uh, ulama as such but then you know a mix of so so that is that is a positive uh, uh, feature of us and with that i think we will always maintain the middle ground mm. middle malaysia kind of approach but when you talk about ulama do you think there's a role there's a need to reevaluate the role of the ulama in the party well i don't think they need to be reevaluated when it was first you know put in place and instituted it it was made made very clear that you know they are a gatekeeper the concept of gatekeeper is always to allow traffic flow until uh, and unless there there's reason for it to be you know you know to be exercised so if you look into politics there's not not so much of um, um, issues of 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 faith and 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 not so much issue, issues of you know uh, um, directly to do with with article of faith yeah. it's all about governance mm -hmm. and the issue about governance is always ishtihadi in nature it meaning it is it is not cast in stone as such there are princi broad principles given by islam yeah. but but the ishtihad the intellectual renewals that are re required would have to be always you know uh, reevaluated and 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 reassessed and put in context and that cont contextualization is the real task and and challenge of leadership so with ulama there I mean if for as long as they assume that role of ensuring the party not to not to you know sort of uh, get off tangent uh, well within the uh, limits of sharia I think we are home I mean we are we are there I mean for as long as that there's nothing you know non non sharia or non compliant non sharia compliant uh, policies we are there and they just you know look over our shoulders because they they really get keepers by by definition of, of of term of reference and and their 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 tasks and their uh, objective and uh more about the I mean pass has made a tremendous step forward by introducing the, the non muslim wing mm -hmm. but do you think it's time to allow the non muslim members more voice in the policy making of the party surely i mean all this in a, in a, in in a dynamic of a political party it will have to take its time i mean it, it has got it is you know you you can't force something which is not you know right for it yeah. but uh, once upon a time it was unimaginable but now it's already in place as a wing yeah. and so i think it will just maybe a matter of time that they will have a full fledged uh, membership and certainly uh, their role will be uh, substan substantial and significant in 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 empowering and, and in in you know putting past uh, you know, be able to address uh, this uh, mixed demography of Malaysia, and and with them on board with us, I think it's such a, it's such a, it's very instrumental. It's such a help, and and I think we are on the right track. Okay. Well, that's it for our second segment. Please join us on our third segment, where we talk about past and fact and reality.